In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a product within the JVZoo platform. So to get started, you'll need to go up to the Sellers tab, then to the Sellers dashboard. And for this example, I'm going to use the new product edit page. So the first thing we want to do is give our product a name. Now, this is pretty self-explanatory and it walks you through all of the steps, as you can see right here. But for the sake of time, we'll go ahead and go through some of them just to familiarize you with each step. So if you ever get stuck, you can also click on these little question marks right here and it'll give you a bit of an explanation as to what that particular area is or what it's for. So we want to give our product a name first and then we'll give it an internal product name. This is only for you to be able to see so that you can distinguish it between your other products. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it the same and then we can choose whether or not to show it in the product library. I'll leave that as is. We'll need to give it a description and then we'll need to select a category. Next, we'll need to select our currency and then the product price. Now, if we're doing a dime sale, we'll need to select the max price that the dime sale is going to go to. But you can see how dime sales work in another video, which we show you how to set up. So I'm going to go ahead and select the max price and then I want to select the quantity. Now, if there's only a limited amount, then I want to put that quantity in there. Let's say if I was only going to sell 100 courses, I would want to put that number there. But if it's unlimited, meaning I want unlimited sales, I just go ahead and leave it empty. And then we want to choose whether or not to allow sales. OK, if we're going to let this product be sold immediately, we would want to check that box. But if we're not, we want to uncheck it. OK, we also want to select the launch date and time. So if we're going to launch this product at a later date, we will want to select that date and then the time that is going to be launched as well. And this is done on Eastern Standard Time. OK, next, we'll need to put in our commission payout, which I'm going to put 50 percent here. And then we'll need to decide whether or not it's a subscription or multiple payment base, which we show you how to do in another video. If we want to make it a dime sale, we select that option, which we also show you how to do in another video. And if we want to make it a time sale, we would select that option, which we show you how to do in another video. Now, if we want our product to be considered for the JVZoo product of the day, we will want to select this checkbox next to yes and then give the custom JVZoo commission payout. This can be 50 percent, 75 percent or even 100 percent. OK, next, we want to choose our payment options and then how we want to approve affiliates so we can choose to manually approve them, auto approve them or even if no affiliates are going to be allowed to promote this product, we'd select that as well. The best way to go about it is to manually approve affiliates. OK, and then if we have any affiliate terms, requirements or questions, we can put that information in here and that is HTML enabled. So if you have HTML code, you can paste that here as well as notes to affiliates as well, which is also HTML enabled. Now we want to come down to the seller details and we want to put in our support address as well as our support URL. And then we want to put in our sales page URL. Now, if we are sending people to a landing page, we want to click this option here to tell JVZoo to pass the affiliate ID to the sales page. So that way affiliates get credit, even if they send people to a landing page or an opt-in page or even maybe a pre-launch webinar. We can also choose whether or not we want to use a pre-launch page until our product is ready to launch. And if we did, we want to put that URL in here. And then afterwards, if we want to send all our traffic to the sales page after the launch date and time, we need to select yes. And that would correspond with this option up here for the launch date and time. Now, on the receipt information, this is what your customer is going to see after they purchase. So if you have specific instructions that they need to follow, you need to put that information in here, such as how to get access to their account, how to get access to support or anything that you may feel is very important for the customer to know. So the custom receipt information goes here and this is going to be shown on the page right after they order. And then custom email receipt information is going to be shown in their email right after they order. And both of these are HTML enabled as well. OK, we go down to the product delivery and we choose whether or not it's going to be hosted on JVZoo, which you can't really host anything more than 128 megabytes in size. But most people just go ahead and use their own thank you download page. So we will want to put our thank you page in here. And if we're going to be integrating with, say, a specialized membership site, we want to click on yes to pass parameters to our 
thank you download page right here. OK, we need to select our return period, whether it's days, weeks, months or years, which for the most part is normally around 30 days. And then we have our advanced settings. So if we have any affiliate integration, we want to select yes. OK, and then go ahead and choose those options in there. Same thing with whether or not we want to have custom messaging integration just like this. And then if we want to have autoresponder integration. So if we wanted to, we would select our autoresponder, make sure that we have it connected, and then we would want to select a list or create a new one that we would want our customers to be added to. Now, if we're going to integrate a webinar, we will want to check this option, which we talk about in another video, as well as retargeting, as well as external program integration, which we talk about in other videos. Once you're done, you just want to go ahead and click on save my product. OK, and now your product will be successfully saved and you're good to go. And that's how you set up a product within the JVZoo platform.